Actually, tomorrow 7 a.m. I'm going to surgery, so I'm little in trouble, but it's okay. <laughs> For your ACL? Yeah. Oh, I see. So you'll be um, rela or you'll be uh, recovering for seven months. Is that right? Six, seven months. Six or seven months. months. Yeah. So what do you plan to do in those seven months? Watch TV. <laughs> Watch TV with TCL. Inspiring bonding moments with your family. You should invite your friends over. <laughs> yeah, of course. Sometimes they come to the orphanage because every Saturday night, the kids they watch TV. Oh, okay. So, we we'll just stay together and but. Oh, that's nice. That's really nice. At least you're not alone watching TV, right? No, I don't like to be alone. <laughs> no one likes to be alone. <laughs> so, let's talk about some of the things you shared in the video. So, it mentioned there that you started playing football at a very young age, at the age of eight, eight right? And, yeah. uh, eight, okay. nine. Yes. Around eight or nine, and you played every day. What was your early training like? I mean, after school, in the afternoon, I just going away from my mom because I have to do homework and just going to my friends and play football. Oh. So they decide to it's okay. So that was your training, yeah. playing with your friends. <laughs> yeah. How fun that is! But look at where it has brought you now, right? Yeah. <laughs> That's passion in action. So uh, you also played for the Swiss and Italian teams for quite a while. So is it different from playing football here in the Philippines and in Asia? I mean, here in the Philippines, the football is going up. So for 10 years ago, I guess that was a lot of different. Mm -hmm. But now some European Asian players start to come to play Philippines, so the UFL is growing up and hopefully also the national team. So. Okay, mm -hmm. that's good to hear. And um, then when you were 29 years old, um, you decided to come back here in Manila. So what made you decide to return after all these years? Okay. And <laughs> Oh, is it the... Uh, are we gonna cry? <laughs> I grew up uh, with idea to come back to the Philippines one day, but I always don't feel ready to come back here because I don't know which kind of situation I'm gonna... I'm gonna get, you know. So, finally after 29, I feeling ready and I spoke with my by not adopted parents. Yeah, and so it was a great book that it's time to come back here and see my country and maybe to search my biological parents. Oh, so you have decided to stay here permanently, is that so? Yeah, yeah I, will, I will live here. Oh, wow! <laughs> wow! What's the fucking is that? I thought I could do you can. Okay, did you understand that? The Gung Pinoy? It no. means you have the blood of a Filipino running in your veins. Uh, I'm trying to learn Tagalog. Uh -huh. But when I came here, I also don't speak English, so... Okay, so what kind of... What Tagalog words do you know? Let me test you. Are you teasing me? <laughs> what, what? Are you teasing me, right? Yes, yes. <laughs> Like musaka, kanabrumaga. But hopefully now, sometimes I can understand, but I can speak. Probably. Oh, okay. So you're in the learning process. Yep, you're doing great, man. And um, it, so it must have been uh, hard for you not to find your birth parents, of course. But it seems that you found another home and family with Sister May and Buklod Kalinga. So can you share with us what life is like with your new family? Probably I was asking uh, to find my biological parents and a lot of people came to the orphanage and declared that it was my biological mom. And I did three times DNA but it didn't work. So I was speaking with Sister May and I understand that sometimes you want to find something but if it didn't work it's maybe it's not time. So at the same time I realized that I am okay that what situation I find here my sister may and the kids and also I have my adopted parents that they give me everything. So I will not push them to find my mother. 
Oh, yeah, actually, so you, you stop searching. Yeah, maybe one day when we'll be a time. Yeah, but it's the right time for everything. Yeah. You know, nothing is impossible with God. And we're all praying for you that you could find your birth parents someday. Yeah. <laughs> we're here, like, supporting you all the way. Thank you. Yes. And Salamat po. <laughs> See? Great Tagalog. You're doing excellent here. Okay, and um, actually, so um, being here in the Philippines, what was the greatest lesson you've learned? The first? Yes. Uh, don't drive. <laughs> <laughs> don't drive! Don't because, uh, <laughs> yes, good tip. Good tip. Good lesson. Maybe don't take him out there around 6 p.m. <laughs> Why? I what? I'm Marty. I'm <laughs> Rush hour. <laughs> now the great lesson is that I come from Europe, so I see a lot of different from the people here. That maybe they have less than people from my country, but they have, the Filipino people are more fun and always smile and get. Everything's positive from a different situation. Yeah, that's true. Like you can smile in, even in the hardest of uh, trials. The Philippines is more fun. <laughs> it's more fun in the Philippines, they say. Come on, give it up, give it up for Simone Rota. And I believe that faith has really brought you here for a reason, yeah. right? And uh, football for Simone. Football is not just a sport, but it's a mission, right? And um, thank you so much for sharing your, your life story with us. And you're truly an inspiration, even to me. <laughs> I'm really inspired right now. And so much so that TCL would like, would love to help you continue playing it forward with the children of Buklod Kalina. Thank you. Yes, and that is why TCL is donating sporting equipment to Buklod Kalina to help encourage them to keep playing and to keep improving their skills in the beautiful game we call football. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, you're really blessed. <laughs>